I mean, take a look at Hitachi. It's been busy divesting its uh-huh. non-core assets. I mean, are there further plans to do that after letting go of your chemicals, diagnostics, for instance? Uh-huh. Yeah, but now the uh, background is uh, not as simple of the, uh, the non-core or core discussions. We uh, try to change our business model very dynamically. Used to be we are very much focused on the product and technologies. And so the, uh, some kind of the, uh, the, the technologies requires the, uh, a variety of the, uh, the, the, in the case of the materials and some cases of the engineering. But now, the, those kind of the uh, uh, mainly the pro- uh, commodity high technology products uh, we are, are losing. The main player is in Taiwan, Korea, and China. So we are very much focused on the so-called social innovation business. How to contribute to the society through the, our high level of the technology combined? So in that sense, we do not need uh, the effective operation view. The top rank of the uh, the material industry, we do not need that. That's a background. So the uh, you know that if we utilize some kind of the products for the our total solution, still we would like to keep it. That's a background and principles of our consideration. So having said that, where will growth come from now? Yeah, that's uh, always we are thinking that the which the solutions was which problems to be solved. Those are the very much focal the business point is a very important decision process. You opened up a business in Guangzhou, and that is to make motors for electric vehicles. Mm-hmm. I mean, how are things going along? Uh, that's a very dynamic change. <laughs> Time scales and players. And so the, this, this area, is a, we recognize that the, such a dynamism still continues uh, 10 or 15 years. So the, uh, Are we, you betting big on that? Yeah, so, so that uh, recently we acquired of the, some component business from the uh, Honda and also setting up the new conditions for the future of the, not simply of the electric vehicle, but also some of the autonomous driving. Or the, those kind of things will affect of the uh, social structure as well. Not simply of the uh, producing of the car, selling it to the consumer. That's not that, uh, you know, a, a future model of the business. But interesting time though, right? Because you're making that investment at a time when demand for EVs is falling in China. Mm-hmm. Are you concerned about that? Oh yeah, that in the most serious uh, consideration is that how to setting up the charging systems for the electric vehicle. So that uh, maybe we need a little more time to extend of the real EV world. The EV is uh, not simply of the uh, mobility business. Uh, it's also that uh, seriously affected by the uh, climate change or environmental considerations. So, so that we, maybe we, we have to watch very carefully what is happening. A lot of focus on sustainability. You're in the nuclear business as well. Do you envision a time when Hitachi will make an exit mm-hmm. from the nuclear business? Would that make sense at some point? Uh, you don't, in the UK, still the, uh, you know, that, uh, the, some of the energy business, uh, we, we, uh, we cannot do that. But now the, uh, the railway and the recently that we acquired uh, the ABB's power grid business, in that sense, the UK still is a very important market for us. How to contribute to the, the UK is a very, very important uh, you know, management uh, the, the issues. So you're saying that you will keep that nuclear business for the longer term? The, it's a very sensitive <laughs> subject. <laughs> but as you know, the recent you know, the big you know, the reactors business, ah, it's not so easy one. But now they're from the viewpoint of the energy consumption, climate change, CO2 emission, the nuclear technology is very, very important. So the, we would like to keep it. I'll ask you that question again next year. One final question before we let you go, Hiroaki-san. Uh, you talk about rail. Where will demand come from? Of course, you're competing in a space where China is also aggressively looking for those projects. Yeah, the railway, the, the, the two aspects. The, the first one is that the public transportation is getting to be more important for the all communities. That is one of them. And also that uh, uh, the, the train is really that uh, environmental 
the considerations, uh, those kind of the transportation way. So how to combine the more comfortable life for the, all of the uh, you know, passengers? This is uh, the next you know, high level of the target of our industry. So, so I, I believe the railway business is also growing.